Hey guys, it's Creepins in Productions here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you another, well, a remake this time. It's going to be episode 1. I've got to make a 1.10.2 plus mod. So this will be for 1.10.2 and over. So if you guys are ready, excited to see a Minecraft mod tutorial, first actual series I'm going to be making, make sure to smack that like button and face like a boss. I hope you guys are ready. Enjoy the video. Woo! Oh, okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is head to the website I've provided in the link in the description, eclipse.org slash download or whatever it is. And then what you're gonna do is, um, I messed that up, but what you're gonna do here is you're going to, uh, let me, I'll, I'll send you the link in the description for this website right here. And you're gonna go down here, over here, where it said, download links and you're gonna click on whatever your platform you have if you have Mac OS X we're not gonna be doing Linux we're doing Mac but what do you I'm gonna I'm not gonna be doing the tutorial for Windows Mac but it is pretty simple um, I'll show you on Mac later someday maybe but right now I'm just gonna be doing it on Windows um so stay tuned for the Mac version so first you for the Windows you click 64 bit, if you're on 32 bit, you click 32 bit, so it's fun and toy. I'm gonna be using 64 bit, and it's gonna download, and you click download, it'll download it. Don't worry, it's not a virus, I know what I'm doing, okay? <coughs> Don't worry, got it? <coughs> because it is how you code, okay? I promise you. This is what I've been using for the past while. So you download it, you, uh, it'll pop up a little installer, you have to click install, and, and you know, continue and once you got that you also have to get create a folder on somewhere on your desktop such as like like and you can name it after your mod you, it's the best idea you make something recognizable right such as modern tutorial cut you know cool so next oh you have to go to the files that minecraftforge.net website I put in the description and you're going to go to um be in Installer. Wait, uh, you're gonna go to the link in the description for 1.10.2. We're gonna be doing this for 1.10.2. If you guys want to do a different version, make sure when you select your version, like 1.11, 1.10, 1.11.2, I don't know. So make sure you go to the latest MDK. And 1.9 we're not doing today, and 1.9 is not in this series, but if you 1.10, 1.11 is the only version we're going to be doing in this series. If you guys want another version like 1.7, 1.8, or 1.9, I will be doing that if you're on requesting, if you guys want me to, but, yeah, so, you do need, might need to know a little bit of Java, but I, I recommend you should check out some tutorials on Java, basic Java, like, you know, stuff, like how to use Java in Eclipse. And just like some basic setup, but I will teach you most of what you need to know, so just stay tuned. So, um, now make sure when you go to the latest, make sure you NDK, not installer, not installer Windows, not universal MDK. So, right now, uh, uh, Joski, I'll send you the link to 1.2.2 and you can click MDK. So, now here's the core part once you do that, you should be. Wait, it should be directed to an ad fly thing, ad focus, and it will put a bunch of ads. Do not click any of this. Make sure, wait for that, and then click skip. Do not click anything else. Don't click that. It's gonna give you a virus, I swear. It's not, it's not, a, it's like literally, it's just an ad, okay? Trust me, trust me. Okay guys, so when you open up the, oh, sorry, um, when you open up the Windows, or the, sorry, the Forge MDK, yep, you downloaded. You're gonna have your folder that you created earlier, and you're gonna drag everything inside of that into the folder. So like, just like this. You're gonna drag everything right in there. Now, here's a good one. Um, on, for Windows, you're gonna go to, um, on here, you're gonna go to CMD in Windows Search, and go to Command Prompt, yes. And now you're going to do this, default one. CD space and then drag copy the address right click copy address paste it in there enter it's a CD and then your you know thing and my name is not Seth it's my dad sorry about that my name is not Seth that's my freaking dad so don't worry about that but um here 
So now you go to you're gonna type in here here you're gonna type in Gradle W setup D comp workspace and space eclipse. And then as you can see it'll do its thing. Just wait for it. And uh, if you have any errors, by the way, guys, or questions or errors or whatever in, in this series, feel free to ask me at my uh, my uh, YouTube comment and just tell me what you have with your errors specifically. Don't just say, oh, I need help. Be like, what do you mean? Because, you know, you have to tell me what you need help with. Like, what's your error, you know? So, you, yeah. Uh, wait, why is it not working? Uh, dude, I think there's something wrong. Ah, uh, what? Me? Oh, you know what? Let me check this. What am I doing? Oh. Wait, I think it's, I think it's doing it. So, uh, yeah, guys, here we go. So, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for it to do all the things, you know. It's gonna download everything. That's cool. Just wait for it to download all the stuff. And, uh, just, after you have it in command, you just have to wait. So, I'll be back when it's done, guys. And, uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're back. As you can see, wait, you can't see. Meh. As you, can, as you can see, guys, it says build successful. Build successful, guys. Oh, what? Build successful. And if you didn't say that for you guys, you might have misspelled something. I don't really know. If you did get an error, though, in any part of the series, please tell me and I will try to fix it in my best. Don't just say, ah, oh, I got an error. Why? You literally gotta explain your error. Tell me what error you have, okay? I can try to fix it. Just as long as your error makes sense. And send in your crash reports and everything. Like, what do you, whatever you have, info, any info. I will be willing to help you, okay, guys? Don't stress out as much as you can, okay? Also, um, when I said build successful, you, you are done. So what we're gonna do now, um, we're gonna close that. I'm gonna close this, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to modding tutorial. We're gonna see all these files. We're, we're not gonna do anything with them yet. What we're gonna do, to start off with, is gonna be a long episode, because we have to set up everything. And it's gonna take a while, because there's a lot to set up and like get started. It's not just like the, the setting up, it's literally all the classes we need to start with. So, I'll explain that in a little bit. First thing is, we open Eclipse that we installed earlier, and let's do this. Open the clip, and for the first time it should show up a window, like this, and then it went to load, it should say like, something like, oh, you need, it should like, select a workspace, oh here, see, it says select a workspace, <coughs> and it says like this, right, and then you, <coughs> sorry about that, you can use this, uh, you ch click browse, and then just go, you find the directory where you create it, so in my, in my case, it's modding tutorial, or modding tip, and then go to, uh, you, this is important, you select the folder inside that called Eclipse, don't open it, and select something inside it, just select Eclipse, click OK, bam, you're done, click OK again, next, next step is just to wait, but really, it shouldn't take too it didn't take that long, so don't worry. But it's just long for me, so just wait for it. Next step is to actually get like started, you know? Just to actually start getting everything set up for the base start. So we're gonna do that in a minute. As soon as my thing starts back. Great. Uh sorry about that. It's l it was lagging. Uh guys, hold on. I'll be able to be right back when it loads. Okay guys. Okay guys, so for the first time you should see something that says workbench in the top right. For me it's not there because I already clicked it. But when you, when you see a workbench thing in the top right, you just click on it when it's, and then you should, you should get this. You should get this when it, after you click that. So now you open it up, you, you press that little arrow. Sorry about it, let me make the full screen. Um, really? Make it, to do is you have to go here, right, and then you go to and the cage example, you go, you, uh, you open that, okay, then you go to source main Java, open that, you can delete the example mod, don't need it, okay, you don't need stupid example mod, okay guys, so next, 
you after you deleted, which I'm gonna do right now, because we don't need an example mod. Thank you very much. You can um go ahead and right click it, click new package, and you can here's the good part. So you're gonna go here, and then you go to like example. Say you you have a company, right? You go like com dot you put back for me. Com dot creepins in and then well oh, say it's my company name. I don't have a company but then like a dot and then you can put like main or whatever. So you do you, but what I'm gonna do in this case is me which I recommend for if you're one person, me dot creepinton dot and then you here's a good part. What we're gonna do is type main and then you put okay finish. And here's the main package. So you right click that, click new, class. Here's the main part now. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna hold on guys. Sorry for that. Um uh like one second. Uh uh um No it's not don't worry about it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um uh, basically we're gonna do is we're gonna do something. We can create in this package, the main package. We're just gonna call them package by that part, like main, for example. So the main package, we're gonna create a class here, and we're gonna call it after your mod name. So let's say we're gonna call it tut mod. I don't know. No. Test mod. Test mod here. And then you go here, open test mod. Or it should already be open, but and test mod. We're gonna do a few things. So <coughs> first thing is, we're gonna go to the um to the top of it, and here's the good part. Since we're almost here, we have to do a little bit different, but I'm gonna go here, we're gonna type at net dot. I know it's a little weird, because it, 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 it's for me, it seems to be for me. You go to net dot, um, Minecraft forward, I think? Yeah, Minecraft forward dot, uh, fml dot common, dot, uh, wait, what, okay, dot mod, dot, dot mod, and go, parentheses, mod id, I don't know if it's capital, just do that, okay, mod id equals, and, and then you do, um, let's see, mod id equals, and then you go, mean dot, creepins in, for example, dot, and we're gonna type in. We actually, bef before we finish that, for, we gotta create one thing. So here we go to um, source main Java, new package, and then we do me dot creep in sin dot lib, and then we go. Now here's the next part. Right, click new class. No, sorry. Well, I, no, sorry. New interface. This is the weird part. Interface. New interface, I proxy. Now, an I proxy, so you're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit of stuff to do. And um, here's the thing. So, I proxy, I'm gonna type in a few things. One is public void pre init. Like, well, well, pre init. And then at the end of that, you just put colon public void init. Like in SLA, um, look at, and public void post, in it, I believe. Um, that way, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Post in it, and then you're gonna save for iProxy. You're done with iProxy for now, or forever, I think. Um, now, in the lib package, create a new class this time. Um, right. Okay. Create a new class and name it, this time it's a class, yeah. Lib and call it reference, right? Reference. No. And here you're gonna do a few things. You're gonna first type in um. Sorry, I gotta call them. Uh, and first type in public. Uh, why can't I put oi? What the heck? Haha. <laughs> public. That no, not public void. Ah, public that no. What am I doing? Okay, seriously. Public that final string. I need to um. Mod ID, no, not not ID, sorry. Mod ID equal, um, equals, equals, ah, uh, equals, quotation marks. I don't know if we call it after that. Wait, right? No, we didn't call it. 
And then quotation marks, we're going to put this in right here. Quotation marks, quotation marks. So, and then there's quotation marks, we're going to put on mod 8. So, for example, test mod, like that. Bam, test mod. Let me make it short. Don't make it like test mod, meet for mod, data. Yes. Just make it real short, like an abbreviation for your mod. So if I would be test mod modification, just put test mod. So like, just just make it short, because you don't want to have a giant mod either. Um, so you make the test mod mod right? And then you got down here, you gotta you can say you gotta say public public data final again. Then, and this time we're gonna do version. Uh, I can't see. Version. Wait, no. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. Version. Okay. Yeah. And then we go to we're gonna this side. We're gonna type evil. One point oh point oh. You can. I can do like v one point oh. Just make it one point oh. Then you put semicolon again. No semicolon. And off the line. Save it. Okay. Next is public. Static. Um. Final uh ring client side right now let's see here. Um client side no client client proxy okay, equals client proxy equals here. Now what we're gonna do is gonna be um wait what okay so now we're gonna do um, here me dot creepinson dot um wait what wait proxy dot so me dot creepinson dot proxy and then dot I'm sorry it's, it's still my colon fan by the way um me creepinson got that but me dot creepinson dot proxy dot and then we're gonna put client proxy like that. See? Let me actually make a bigger for you guys. See, here it is. Me that created like client proxy there. And also, this one, is, if you haven't seen it, we're going to paste it. Me that created like client proxy now. Then we also copy and paste this one. And we're going to type common proxy. And this time, over here, we're all, as well going to say common proxy. And then, we good for this part. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to save that, close all that, and we're going to go next to, um, back to our main class. Actually no, what we're going to do, we're going to create a new, sorry, a new new package in this trust main, Java. And we're going to call it me.creepinton, I don't think it's this right, oh my god. Creepinton dot proxy. And do, <coughs> we're going to move iProxy in there. Move iProxy in there. Just, we're just gonna move, drag iProxy in the, the proxy thing, and then basically you're gonna go, like, okay, gonna basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new class in iProxy or in proxy, sorry, new class. <coughs> what do you call? Um, it is called. Uh, uh, no. Oh yeah, client proxy. Create that as well as create. Common proxy. Now, here's the next part. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to test mod, back to test mod, and you're gonna go to mod ID, remember mod ID? We're gonna meet at crimson dot, um, dot lib, I'm oh gonna lib dot reference dot dot, and then we're gonna go to mod ID, okay, mod ID, and then comma version equals and then we're gonna put the same thing in right here oh, same thing me dot creep and same dot live dot reference dot and then we're gonna put version <coughs> I believe that's it for that yeah um then we're gonna go to next thing is we're gonna go inside uh, of the class this time not outside but inside <coughs> so inside that let's say um and you're gonna go to <coughs> Test mode, right? You're gonna inside that, and you're gonna go this same page. Um, that sided proxy, I believe. No, okay, sorry, we have to start with 
net dot mine no not net dot minecraft forward slash fml dot 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 common dot side of pro right again parentheses like that and then you're gonna go inside the parentheses here's the next one client no fail client side equal and here's the next reference dot that doesn't work well Um, copy that. Just put in the lip thing we did a uh, reference. It's a reference to that. And then, but this is wrong. What did I do? Good mic. What? What? Oh, what? What the heck? What? Uh, what? This is wrong. Uh, where's my hammer? Oh no! What did you reference? The what, is, what is wrong with it? Uh, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Well, okay, guys, I think I got it. Never, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, first of all, you do have to, uh, all you have to do is say net dot Minecraft forward, or at, sorry, at net dot Minecraft forward dot fml dot common dot side of proxy, and then what we did before, client side equal reference dot server pro client proxy, import reference from the package, or you just say this. Didn't matter. <coughs> now, um, you put that client proxy and then comma server side equals reference to common proxy. And then you do public static i proxy proc and import i proc. Fair. Now, go to um at the event handler. <coughs> now. Look at that. Public void pre in it. I know we're doing that again. Um, okay. I'm gonna go in here. And put event handler. And inside of pre init, I'm gonna put fml init. No. fml pre initialization. They even do that. Event, event, um, pre, pre, pre event, please. Then put that as well. Now we're gonna copy the page of this here two times, and then this time put one ed in it, and I have my uh, initialization event import this and then go to post in it fml post initialization post initialization event and as well import that now next step is put in proxy proxy dot pre in it and then in it we go proxy dot in it it's simple. It's simple. And then here we go to. Let me just make it bigger. Oh. Um. Oh. What's this? Eh. Make this. Do have more space? <coughs> no. And, for, and you could do the same thing on here except proxy dot post. Now, next thing then, you have to do the next thing, which is here. Now, what we have to hold, hold on guys, we're back. Okay guys, so we're back. Now, what we need to do here is, we need to go into, uh, let's see, what am I doing over there? I wanna make sure I've got everything right, you know? I mean, not everything right, but, um, let's see, that, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. We're good, so guys, 
I think we've got it for the first episode. Um, yeah, guys. So we have ended the first episode of uh, uh, what is it? First, setting up everything. Oh yeah, one more. Oh, guys, sorry, I forgot. Um, you have to do. You have to go to source main Java at create new package, and then you're gonna go here. Assets dot, and then your body IDs, like you typed in. Uh, remember how we? Uh, sorry, um, remember how we did reference and then it's a test mod. So now we have to go into the package name here, and we're gonna type in um uh asset dot test mod. What's in the asset? Asset dot test mod dot textures. No, no dot. Uh, I don't know, dot link? I don't know. I think that's right. Dot yeah. So now, dot link, and then you can right click new, t untitled tech file. And then, you're gonna save that, um, no. You're gonna save that as a, here, in there, in the source, main, Java, asset, text mod link. And then you type, this time is important. They type in e en underscore capital U F dot lang. dot l a n g. Yeah. Then you got the little file, and we're gonna use that in a little bit to make a custom like thing. You know, that's cool. But as of now, we are done with this tutorial. First setting up. But if you guys want, uh, you, you probably most likely want to do this. But you can go into the mod ID and source me in resources. And change to your like mod ID here, I believe. So you can change it. I, I think wait, I think you should do that, guys. So you can source main resources. Mod under mod ID, you can just test mod, just like we had it before. The name is going to be test. Oh, what? What happened? Test the mod. I don't know. And the description. B A B A. No, bad ass. Mod. I don't know. <laughs> I should not be like we can't. You know, it's just a test mod, so why is it better? Um. Now go to the version. You can change that to um 1.0.0 because that's the version of our mod. Then we go to MCD version 1.10.2, and we can finish that. We can also creep in. Um. Go to. Yeah, we don't want that. We want. Forward and FML creep engine. Got it? Now we got it here. Got it. So now, if you guys are ready to, um, you want to see it, guys? Um, if you guys are ready to see a uh, Minecraft, bit, if you guys are ready to see the next visual where we make some items for Minecraft, to make sure you smack the like button in the face, like a bar, we're gonna make some items in the next tutorial. See you guys later. Bye. And I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, we actually have a question, guys. Before you go, we do. Ha I do have a blog post on my website. My uh, website. I'm gonna link in the description. At the top of the description, there should be a, a link to the website of um. <coughs> what? The website for for a text tutorial instead of like me, this tutorial. You can just follow the regular text, and I will try to. You can check it as well. It's basically the same thing. You just have to look at the text and it should explain everything too. So, yeah, guys. See you guys later. Bye. Woo!